This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 10. Under the C. In the next several challenges, you will be working to improve one program that draws an underwater scene. Each time you finish a puzzle and move on to the next, your code will be pulled forward and you'll get new instructions telling you what to add. All right, well, do we have... Ooh, it's this stuff from last time. I don't need it that fast. Fancy. All right, so do this. Read through the program provided, provided to get a basic understanding of what it does. Add function calls in the early lines of the program, somewhere after the background is drawn, so that two fish, two starfish, and two pieces of seagrass appear somewhere in the scene. You don't need to provide the values for the parameters at this stage. Interesting. Okay. Hint. You need to call move to before drawing a second fish. Ooh, solid hint. Starfish or a seagrass. Otherwise, you won't see the second one because it will be drawn exactly over the first. Those functions draw based on where the turtle is just before the call. Test out your code. Okay. All right, so where do we add it? We do add a function in the early lines of the program somewhere after background is drawn. Okay, so I'm going to add like my new starfish add right under starfish. So this is a call, right? This is where we ask the computer to run draw starfish, which they must have defined. The function must be here. And when we do, the computer says, okay, draw starfish. What's that? Ah. Uh, I'm going to look, draw seagrass, no, is this something, no, oh, here it is, and then it drops in and runs all this code, which I bet draws a starfish. When it hits the bottom here, though, it then just continues the code from where we're at, which was here, and to the next line. So let's do another, it's called a function call, where we ask it to run that program, or that function, draw starfish, and that should draw a second starfish. Now, I need to make sure to move to, like they just said, so turtle move to and knowing that this is an xy chart i'm gonna say let's see where 200 mm, 400 is i'm not sure reset run oh and now they're on top of each other okay now i want it fast okay so let's do 300 300? Now it's too far over. So it's a bit of trial and error. Let's, of course, switch up the X. So what was it? Oh, right. I was trying to get... Okay, let's do 250. Perfect. Now, let's keep going. Seagrass. So now I'm going to do another function call. And we don't need one with a parameter. And so we're going to draw another blade of seagrass. And what this is doing, it's not magic. It is asking the computer to find the function called draw seagrass, which is somewhere down here. And it runs all these commands, hits the bottom, goes back up to here, and keeps running the code we have. We do need to use the move to command, otherwise it will be doubled up on top of each other. Move to, and then let's just increase x by 50, so 100 or 50. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh. What if we do though? Okay. I do like that. And now our fish. So we're going to grab another move to, another function. Draw fish. Uh, move to, um, let's say x will be 250, y will be 50. Let's see where that takes us. Ta-da! And we have a beautiful ocean scene. I want this a little less. Awesome. 
And so let's just make sure. Oh, I don't like theirs. I like mine more. <laughs> so what we were needing to do is add these function calls and make sure you used move to as well. You need to understand that what a function call is. So if you're unclear on that, go back to the beginning of this and watch it again. You want to understand how this code is making things appear on the screen. Otherwise, this is going to be really difficult moving forward. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.